Hey everyone, Dan here. Before we get into it, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like and subscribe button and keep in mind that these are my own thoughts, opinions, and ideas. These are not meant to be, nor should you take them as investment or trading advice in any way, shape, or form. Do your own due diligence, put in the work for yourself, and make your decisions based on that. Enjoy. All right, folks, here we are after market close on Monday, August 21st. We're going to take a look at our good old abusive friend, SoFi. So SoFi um, broke through the bottom of this slight up wedge that we had put in and is now, uh, again today, hitting its head on the downtrend resistance that we had put in. So right where it is, sort of double strong resistance at this 829 level, which is what we had previously put in on the chart, and also happens to cross where the downtrend is pushing. So really important level here as we head into the week, is it going to be able to establish a floor above 829 and push toward 850? Because um, that is the next, I mean, I have 859, or sorry, 849, but we'll just call it 850, um, is an important push if it's going to really break out of this downtrend, which has now lasted since about August 7th. So, uh, you know, a few weeks into into this downtrend. Um, and it's been obviously a pretty painful fall since that 1170. Uh, it's quite a, a strong um, retracement that it's put in since that high, that, that recent high. So uh, I want to zoom in and sort of see how the levels are holding up and, and see if there's any additional levels that we can spot. And then we'll flip over to the thinkorswim, see where things are sitting on that setup. So, all right, let's back up a few days here. Um, so putting in some additional really interesting uh, repetitive price action here around 840. So, you know, a bit shy of being able to, to reach that 849 level that we put in. It, it caught the resistance really strongly here and then fell to the 829 floor and then just couldn't ever, on, on any of these pushes, it just couldn't get back to that 849 to even reject off of it. And so pretty strong indication there that there was a deeper uh, <laughs> deeper red pill to swallow, if you will, uh, and falling through this 810 pretty easily. It didn't put up much of a fight. Now it's put up a bit of a fight as it tried to flip. You see sort of petered out here, tried to emerge through, fell back through, and then came back. And that's where it was able to push to the 829 um, in recent days, and then caught that downtrend resistance in the pre-market and pushed back down to retest that 810 level that we had put in, uh, fell to 808 reconfirmed that floor and then pushed right back to that downtrend resistance level. So to me, these levels are holding really, really strong in the intraday um, as well as the daily. I don't see a lot of reason why we would clutter up the chart with a bunch of additional levels at the moment. Um, you know, there's something that looks pretty solid here around 8.36. Yeah, it's, it's sort of, you know, I think... I think in the uh, the ten minute we had we saw like eight forty, so it might just get sort of sticky around that that area. Um, but again, it just feels like it's uh, it's so close in to put an additional level there, and, and it just may serve more to cloud the chart than anything. So let's just hold off on it for now. I think that it's respecting these relatively well um, on the intraday on the. 10 minutes. So I'm going to leave that. Now let's see where things sit on this think or swim setup. If we zoom in here, TTM squeeze, bearish momentum continuing to pick up, but RSI starting to rise a little bit. So RSI sitting 40.87. So we'll just call it 41. Um, while bearish momentum is continuing to pick up on the TTM squeeze indicator. So you know, and at the same time, it's pushing off the bottom bound of this channel. Really clean hit on the bottom bound, now pushing up um, toward the mid range. Now, can it reach that? I don't know. It's first going to hit, you know, this interim level here, but uh, this like 888 ish level um, sitting in the, in the mid range of the channel. Um, oh, I guess 887, it tells me there. It's handy. Um, but that will shift as days, you know, 
go and uh, come and go. So we'll see where that moves from day to day. But that could give it some rum rune if it wants to come down, hit the bottom of the channel, and then at least retest that mid range of the channel, which is what it quite commonly does. You see it left the channel here to the upside, came down, tested the mid range of the channel, tested the upper bound, tested the mid range. So this is not an uncommon thing for it to do, even coming from the bottom. You see it came from the bottom here, fell out of the bottom, bound to the channel, hit the midline, pushed itself back down, hit the midline, built itself a little floor, big push up out of the upper bound of the channel. So it's pretty common, test the bound, revert to the, to the um, mean, push a bound, revert to the mean. So that can happen. Um, and so that's mostly what I'm looking for at the moment. And that 887 level, as we have it charted here on, on the levels, uh, you know, we have this 880 and we have this 893. So it's sort of right in between those two. Um, so as the days go on, could it just sort of push itself slightly higher, slightly lower, and, and just end up being one of those levels anyway? I think that's quite possible, um, depending on what we do here. But the most important thing, and I know this is going to sound silly, but the most important thing that it can do to regain some bullish strength at the moment is to break this downtrend. And that's not just to say like, yes, the price will have to increase in order to, to break the downtrend, but it's to say that that is what is most significantly keeping it down at the moment. You see, it continues to shrug off of that, you know, every time it approaches it. So it's a pretty big deal if it can break it. Now, what it does after it breaks it is, uh, is as uh, pertinent of an important price action issue as the breaking itself, because we've seen several times previously, it breaks it and then just continues or dips back down below it or continues to just follow it down, treating it like I've, like I've said before, as downtrend support, <laughs> which is like not the support that you want, obviously. So it's equally important what it does after the break, but you need a break in order to even sort of be able to analyze the break um, or the post break price action, I guess I could say. So that's what I'm looking at at the moment. Um, I do like the setup being toward the lower bound of the channel and it having had a nice push off of that, of that lower bound RSI rising, you know, the mid range is there for the taking if it's able to to make a move, but we'll see. All right, folks, I hope your trading gets off to a good start. And as always, I appreciate you watching and I will see you in the next video.